Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another review from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright people, it's time to bring you some Pro Dad Love, VitaScene V2 Pro. Let's get into it. Alright now, first and foremost, for those of you who don't know, VitaScene V2 Pro creates some awesome effects and transitions. It uses blurring, color matches, a bunch of other stuff. It creates crazy moods, adds flair, adds drama to all your videos that you use with Pinnacle Studio. Now, this is a standalone or a plug-in. The V2 Pro gives you both uh, love in both ways. Basically, you can just use it as a plug-in or you can export stuff to use in other programs. And I'm going to go over that in a segundo. So let's get it cracking. See, I got some clips in the timeline here. So I'm going to right-click on this clip of these little animals here. I'm gonna go to Open Effects Editor. And if you have V2 Pro, it's going to be under Add-ons. And then Pro Dad. Once there, you go to V to Scene Effect. Now you got to go over here and open up the plugin so that you can go ahead and apply the filter or transition that you like. Alright. So... Start from the beginning. I want to go over a few of these buttons up here. You got your file menus. So this allows you to open up a new project. Uh, open uh, previously open project. Open a recently open project. Close a project. Save a project. Now this is what I was talking about here. You can export to a AVI animation or you can you know change the uh, the file format. And you can also uh, export it to a single frames which is a sequence. Which is basically a video just in a bunch of frames. Then you have the option here to go back to the editing program itself. Which will take you back to Pinnacle Studio with the filter or the transition applied. Then you can just quit and close the sucker down. You got edit. You got redo, undo. And then you got whether you want keyframes on or off. You got uh, the effects. So you can play it back. You can set the duration. You got the view of the preview screen. Or preview window. You got some extras and then you got help. Uh, VitaScene has a great manual. If you buy it, this will tell you how to do everything you need to do. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, so you also got your settings here. So you got your general settings. I'm not going to go into all the stuff. I'm uh, pretty sure you can read. If you can't read, then I don't know why you're watching my video. Alright. Then you got your project settings, undo save, you got your export once again, export settings, you can change the video format like I stated, all kind of loveliness. Let's just jump back into the filters and transitions. Alright, now you got your filter group and you got your transition group. So I'm going to start off with the filter group, so I'm going to double click on that. And now you see the love that is VitaScene V2 Pro crazy crazy filters all right each one of these groupings here has a bunch of other filters within them so you can start off with something like film look or film look extreme so you gotta jump into that and then i have all kind of crazy love right here all these different filters that i can choose from uh every Single grouping doesn't have as many filters, but you know the, the routine. It's a lot, and I'm just going through the, the main categories here. But then I just want to point out a few extra things on here under the filter group. You got picture in picture. 
you got some great text and logo effects that you can add to a text or a logo, uh, especially any uh, PNG logo or uh, any type of uh, text that you made, especially with hieroglyph. It comes through looking sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and apply an effect here or filter, and I'm in a artsy fartsy mood today. So I'm gonna go to art look. And I'm going to go to cross drawing. Now, once I click on this, the video that I selected when I open the effects editor shows up in the preview window along with the filter applied. All right. Now, there are some settings down here that I can change as well. So under the filter setting, I have a bunch of different things. Like I said, I'm not going to go into all the different ones, but you can tell that there is a lot of flexibility with the filter and you have the control to change it up as you wish. That's pretty freaking awesome. You can just basically make it into something totally different. Um, you also have this color adjustment tab here. So you can change the color if you like, the hue, saturation, the gamma, contrast, and brightness. And you know what? You can play with these to make all kind of different looks to it. I was playing with it when I first got it and made a little predator looking thing with playing with the contrast, saturation, hue, and gamma, and it came through lovely. Okay, freaking lovely. All right, now different effects have uh, either more or less tabs at the top, so it really depends on which type of filter you choose. Uh, that's going to give you the different types of tabs and the different type of adjust adjustments that you have available for use. Now I talked about keyframes before. Uh, right now keyframes are on. It says working with keyframes. If I uncheck that, they're off, and you see that the keyframes that were at the beginning and end are gone. But I want to show you that. You can use keyframes with this and actually do a lot of cool stuff. So let's say I was playing with the elevation of this. So right now the elevation is at 15. So let's say I uh, wanted to go ahead and add another keyframe here. Then maybe I change this to 14. I don't know. As a matter of fact, let's leave it at 15. All right, so now I got a keyframe here and here at the same position. But what I'm going to do is I want to move it to a new position. What this made it do is keep it the same at the beginning. I move my uh, scrubber or my playhead to a new position. And now I'm going to change the elevation again. Let's change it to like 50. Bam. And so now you'll see that from this point to this point, the elevation is going to change to 50. Let's see. I go here and I... Let's say, yeah, I like it right here, Bob. And I add another one at 50 here. And then I go and I want to put another one at 15 because I want to bring it back to where it started off at. And this last keyframe should already be at 15 because that was the original. Yep, it's at 15. So now if I were to play this back, You'll see that it's going to actually go and change elevation throughout the filter because I utilize keyframes to change it up. All right. So what I'm going to do is go to file and back to editing program. What that'll do is it will apply what I did to the video clip in Pinnacle Studio. So if I hit play, You see now it has the different effect applied. You'll see this changing where I added my keyframes in and changed the elevation. It's all changing now. It's gonna go back down to the original elevation. And it's a wrap. Pretty easy. Now I'm done, so I click OK. And the effect is applied. Alright, so now let's do a little something with the transitions. So I'm gonna right click on this clip. And you know the routine. Go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go to Add-ons. I'm going to go to ProDad. And I'm going to go to V to Scene Effect. All right, so now I need to go to Plugin and click on Open. All right, so now I want to mess around with the transition on this. So I'm going to go back to the root menu. And I'm going to go to the transition group. All right, now with this, there's all types of different transitions as well. If you click on any one of these, you get a lot of different choices. Once again, it's full with crazy transitions. I'm not going to go through all of them, but 
like I said, you know, it's pretty awesome. You got wipes, you got uh, effects, you got miscellaneous, you got more um, text and logo things that really make your uh, text and logos stand out. You know what I mean? So I'm going to start off with the burn through. Let's just roll with that one. And I'm going to choose this elliptical burn. So once I do, it applies it to the clip that I had open. Now, once again, I can change the sharpness, the opacity, so you can see both of them coming through. If I go to the filter, I can change the number of rays, reduce the flicker. There's all type of control I have. Once again, just giving you a quick look. I'm not going to go into changing all of this because, you know, time is money. And I got money on my mind, all right? So I'm going to go back to impressions here. All right, so right now, if I were to play this, all you're really going to see is just going to show it. Go through. And, matter of fact, let's not even play. Let's just scrub it real quick. You'll see that it comes through, but it comes through to the same exact video. So I'm like, what's up with that? I need to fix that. That's not what I want. All right, well, if you go over here to sources, you see video A and video B. So this is the video that's going to start it off, of course, because A comes before B. Once again, if you can't read, don't know why you're watching. So right now, if you click on video A, it's going to tell you that what video A is, is taking right now the video signal from the host application, which is Pinnacle Studio. Now I can change it if I want to by clicking on image and animation, but I'm not going to do that for this one. I want this to still be the first video. Once again, if I want to, I can change a lot of the different things right here under the video A setting as well, different attributes. I'm going to leave it all alone. But now I'm going to go to video B. Video B says video signal from host application, but I'm going to change that. Click on the drop down arrow here. And I'm going to select image animation. When I do, I'm now able to go ahead and select a video that I want to do. So I'm going to go click on this and I'm going to select file. And I'll just use this one. All right. So now if I scrub this, you see the other video come through. And it's all good in the hood. All right, so now that I got my transition that I want, I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go back to Editing Program. And now I can just go ahead and show my little transition. And then, of course, I could just, if I click OK, if I wanted to add this video to the end of it, it's right here. I could just drag it down and trim it to where it should be so that it matches up with the transition that I just created. Simple, easy, quick to do. All right, people, that is it. Now, there is a lot of filters, a lot of transitions. I couldn't show them all to you. I know you want to see them all, but I just don't have the time. All right, people. But believe me, plug in filled with the goods all right jump up on it if you got the loot i'm giving this one my seal of approval all right people you know what the routine is the thumb the one that's pointed in the upward direction click it like it live it love it hug it show the thumb some love comments leave me your comments all right Tell me how you felt about the video, how you feel about Vitacine V2 Pro. If you got it already, go ahead and kick in some extra loveness on this video. And if you need help, ask me your questions. I'll help you out. If I can't, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help you need. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe, baby. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.